Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Martin, as I guess everybody knows. Um, I'm one of the organizers of the conference today, and I'm really happy to see that it's such a great turnout this year, so that we, as the organizers, we can finally see that all the effort wasn't for nothing. <laughs> so thanks, everyone, for supporting us. Um, what I wanted to say is um, I see many new faces. I see a lot of known faces, but also a lot of new faces every year, and especially this year. So just in case that you are like a little bit overwhelmed and you don't know how the local community looks like and works like, I want to sh uh, give you... A a quick rundown of uh, what kind of subgroups we have and what kind of websites you can go to if you want to know what's going on in the, in the community in Singapore. Um, when you are feeling lost and you forgot all the other links, you can just remember Python User Group Singapore. So the abbreviation is like P-U-G-S, Parks, right? So you can go to parks.org.sg and that's kind of our uh, official uh, website for the society and we kind of try to post news every month and uh, let everybody know what kind of meetups were going on. Like This is like the TLDR of for every month what has happened. Um, so this is a good starting point. Um, there are, I think there are more, more links to all our subgroups as well, basically the ones that I'm going to show you right now. So if, if you forgot any of the links, just go to this site. Remember this single site here and you will always have a good starting point to get into back into the community if you're feeling lost. Um, I guess the most is going on on the Facebook user, uh, group, the Python User Group Singapore, or Singapore Python User Group. You just search for this and you join the group. And basically it's uh, an open group. Anybody can post any link, so it's like a forum. Um, you can post questions if you are feeling lost, if you need some consultation about what kind of framework should I use for my next project. Usually if anyone posts a question here, you get an answer within minutes. Uh, good answers actually. So it's still not as active as, as you would as, as if you would as you would think for a group that has uh, thousands of users, 2,300 users. I think there are like maybe 20 users really active. <laughs> so um, why don't we all become more active in this? Um, so yeah, we have another user group called that's the one that um, we started at PyCon maybe two or three years ago, Pi Ladies. It didn't really move a lot in the first year, and then at last year's PyCon, I saw that we had so, so few female speakers, and also in the audience, we had very few women. And then I thought, okay, um, diversity is a thing. Every conference is trying very hard to get better at this. And I thought that we... <laughs> so I thought... Yeah, I thought that um, maybe we should try to really put an effort into it, and basically I devoted a whole year in trying to grow this community and see how difficult is it actually. Where are all these women in Singapore? Are, are there actually any? And it turns out, yes, there are a lot of them, and we managed to get grow this community to 152 members now. We uh, basically try to meet once a month and do some workshops for beginners to just get them into the you know ecosystem, into the programming language, and kind of make sure that they feel comfortable with the programming language and they don't feel shy to go to the real meetups. I mean, this is also a real meetup, right? But I mean, eventually I believe that both communities will merge into each other and we will have 50-50 uh, gender diversity at conferences and meetups. I mean, that is like the end goal, right? So just join this community. Um, whenever there's an event, I'll post a Facebook event, people just sign up and we meet at PayPal and have some pizza and, and learn something. And especially if you want to present something, reach out to me um, because we always need speakers because right now I'm doing all the workshops and it's uh, taking a lot of my time. Um, so the Facebook group is great for communication, like chatting and, and, and asking questions and, and you know discussing things. But we found that meetup.com is much better for actually organizing the events. So whenever we have a new venue and we have a few new speakers, we try to do that every month, we will announce it here and post a link in the Facebook group. So it's okay when you just follow the Facebook group first, you will definitely find out about this as well. Uh, and usually we ask people to RSVP so that we know how much pizza we need to buy. Um, and please, if you RSVP, you should show up. If you, if you like have a stressful day at work, and you, you know that you can't make it at night, then you should un-RSVP because we always have like 100 people RSVP, 150 people are on the waiting list, and then only 60 people show up. So 40 people from the waiting list could have had a chance if the, the other people would have un-RSVP'd. I find this always very weird that somebody blocks a slot 
in the RSVP list and then doesn't unblock the slot if they know they cannot come, right? So even if you, if it's just three hours before the event, it's still helpful if you make room in the RSVP list. So I just want to get the word out because somehow, I don't know, um, not everybody is realizing that this puts the organizers under a lot of pressure. Um, so we have the Singapore Python user group with 1,000 members, 1,400 actually. We also have Pi Data. So um, it's, I think, Almost everyone in the PyData group is also in the, Sing uh, in the Python Singapore user group, but as the name says, the PyData group is especially um, sp uh, specialized on data analytics and machine learning and these kind of things. These things are really big right now in Singapore, and um, I guess the data community feels like they have so much more to show and so much more to learn so that they spin off their own user group. It's also quite nice um, because if, if you have uh, a meetup where one talk is about web and one talk is about data, um, it's often that the crowd is smaller because some people will think, oh, it's not worth my time just to go there at 7 p.m. and there's just one talk that I'm interested in. So we feel that it's kind of better to have one meetup that's like two or three talks all about data, two or three talks all about web, and we feel that uh, for each meetup we get a bigger crowd because of this. So uh, similarly to PyData, we also have Singapore Django Nouns, which is super new. I started that two months ago, and we only already have 157 members as well. So right now it's, again, just me giving talks. So if anybody knows a little bit of Django and wants to share their knowledge, please reach out to me. Um, we actually are searching for a speaker for the next month's meetup, for the July meetup for the Singapore Django Nouns. Did I forget anything? I guess PyData, PyLadies, the Facebook user group, and the original official website. That's, that's all you need to know about the Singapore community ecosystem. Thanks.